think among all the vaccines the measles containing vaccine is a fantastic vaccine so relevant to india so relevant to our children it prevents infections which can cause devastating effects in children who in are at high risk our population immunity more than 95% is the only way we can share with all indian children protection against measles and rubella vaccination campaign the mass vaccination campaign is for example if my defense services are not strong enough in some areas and there are too many infiltrations or attacks from across the border or if there are strong immune system but there are attacks across the border repeatedly happening then at that stage in life i need a surgical strike and so the surgical strike in immunization is called the mass vaccination campaign so routine immunization schedule we continue in between we do mass vaccination campaigns to prevent and damage and destroy the enemy in the attempt to raise our routine immunization schedule yes in 2010 the government did national surveillance of all patients who had fever rash or what appeared to be measles or rubella and to our shock nearly 35 to 45% of the children were greater than 5 years under 15 years who had measles proved by laboratory means indicating that we must cover between 9 months where is the cut off for safety of the vaccine and up to the 15th birthday by this age group we are making sure that we are covering the commonest age group which presents with measles and rubella ask me among the vaccines this is one of the safest vaccines this is the one which has the mildest of side effects in fact when you take the vaccine because it is an injection there will be slight pain for about 10 to 20 minutes the pain goes away there is no fever in fact it's only after one week roughly to two weeks 6 days to 14 days when the child develops little bit of fever little cold little cough little redness of the eyes and if the child is very fair you may see a few red dots and within 48 to 72 hours the child gets better the child does not require any treatment for the side effect which occurs 6 to 7 to 48 6 days to 14 days later and i would like to ask you about some websites online that uh, that connect vaccine with autism can you share your learned opinion on this topic sir in the 1980s an awareness of certain conditions affecting the brain and behavior of a child like autism became very we became very aware of those conditions the diagnosis also of autism began to be very common after the 1980s maybe because we didn't know about it maybe we didn't have a criteria to diagnose it that is also the period of time unfortunately that measles and not measles that vaccinations became more and more available and popular all over the world so that led people to wonder whether there was a connection then we had a terrible incident in 1998 where two different authors in 1998 and later in 2000 called published data associating mmr injections with this brain disorder it was a terrible blow it was published in fantastic excellent journals and we were stunned by this revelation that the mmr vaccine was causing damage to our children that led to a lot of other speculation myths and superstitions after much reviews you will not believe it the lancet and the british medical journal in 2010 and 2011 had to remove these vaccine these articles which were published in 1998 
बिकॉज दे फाउंड दैम टू बी फॉल्स डिसऑनेस्ट बिकॉज दे वॉर ट्रूली वेरी बैडली डन स्टडीज विच वॉर फुल ऑफ फॉल्स हुड्स एंड सो दे वर क्रिटिकल एरर्स एंड द डॉक्टर्स हु डिड द स्टडी हैड टू एक्चुअली अपॉलोजाइज एंड दे वर रिमूव फ्रॉम द पब्लिकेशन इंडेक्स एंड दैट हैज डन सीरियस हार्म एंड डैमेज बिकॉज द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ पोअरली इन्फॉर्म्ड वैक्सीनेशन कैंपेनर्स ऑनलाइन हैव यूज दैट already thrown out false information to propagate the thing i am not in the favor of vaccinating everybody with every single vaccine however when it comes to the m measles containing vaccine the benefit is strongly overwhelming any sort of side effect and there is no evidence to show in the last 35 years plus that mmr injection is associated with brain disorders what are the known side effects of mr vaccine if a child is feeling feverish or giddy what is recommended doctor so i as i told you when you give the mr vaccine you will have a little pain distract the child play with the child the child may forget it take little ice crush it in a cloth apply it there the child will forget it's only a subcutaneous small dose it doesn't cause too much of pain however 6 days later there will be slight fever cold and cough little running nose little rash it gets over in 2 to 3 days nothing really to be done severe fever with pain please give paracetamol nothing to be done clean my nose plenty of fluids no no medications required for the side effects Our target is to eliminate, eliminate measles and rubella by 2020. To achieve that target, the entire population of India, the entire herd of Indian children, should be immune to stop transmission from person to person. So you are allowed five percent of patients. to have measles but 95% of them should never get measles because if i cross 95% of population immunity i will stop the transmission the transfer of the vaccine of the virus from person to person so for measles it is well documented including by the world health organization that you must target immune herd immunity population immunity greater than 95% that is the point at which we will break the transmission of the virus from person to person and stop measles and rubella causing terrible things to our children can children suffering from epilepsy take mr vaccine children suffering from epilepsy can certainly take an mr vaccine it is not a contraindication or it is not a factor which prevents a child from getting mr vaccine all children including those with epilepsy should get an mr vaccine of course epilepsy requires treatment and the child should be on treatment do not stop your treatment if you are an epileptic but the mr vaccine is unlikely to cause any epilepsy from flaring up however there are children who have febrile seizures which is basically convulsions due to high fever when the child is less than 6 years when children are known to have febrile seizures it's very simple you give the mr vaccine and 5 to 6 days later as soon as you find the fever you give paracetamol for about 2 to 3 days the fever is under control it is highly unlikely that that child will have a febrile seizure measles containing vaccines are of two types one contains measles mumps and rubella the second vaccine is called the mr vaccine it is also a measles containing vaccine it contains measles 
plus rubella vaccines. So it is roughly the same except the MMR injection protects against mumps. Now we as a country have to prioritize where we put our resources into what vaccine for a mass immunization campaign covering children under 15 years all over India. That is the reason why the government of India, based on economic reasons and priority of severity of the disease, decided on measles and rubella getting vaccinated. So if the child is suffering from cold and cough, vaccination should be given or not, doctor? A child with a running nose, sneezing, nose block, a child with a cough, with no fast breathing, no chest going inside, outside, no fever more than four to five days, high fever more than four to five days, is probably got a viral infection of the respiratory tract. If it is a mild upper respiratory tract infection, it does not prevent you from getting vaccinated. The problem is because of small colds and coughs, small diarrheas, People miss their vaccinations and that is called missed opportunities and that is one of the commonest reasons why children come back with measles, with rubella, with other illnesses. I wish they take those vaccinations. However, if the child is sick with fast breathing, chest retractions, pus from the ear, fever more than 5 to 7 days, unexplained fever, diarrhea with dysentery, with severe dehydration, then certainly your doctor will advise you what to do. But in general, minor colds and coughs, minor watery diarrhea, do not hesitate to miss, do, do not hesitate to give the vaccine, do not have a missed opportunity of vaccination. So another parent has asked, if a child had recovered from typhoid and still on medication, can we take this vaccine? Typhoid is a bacteria. The MR vaccine is a viral vaccine. So therefore, there is really no connection. If the typhoid fever is present and the child is very sick in hospital on IV injections, then probably not a good idea, wait for a week. But if the child is recovered from typhoid, is on oral simple medicines, doing well, there is absolutely no reason why you cannot give an MR vaccine. Because remember, bacteria is one, viral vaccine, MR vaccines are different. And they use different immune parts of the system. Sick child, don't give it. Mildly sick child, talk to your doctor. Your doctor will tell you what to do. Recommendation is no need for stopping vaccination for mild respiratory or intestinal infections.